Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today I have a very special video for you. So make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna be telling you about Ashwagandha, how it helped me and also two additional tips to help manage anxiety if that is something you struggle with. Okay, so before I get into the truths, I just want to let you know that I am not a medical health professional. Not as yet, at least. I am only telling you about ashwagandha, which is a herb based on my own personal experience. So what is ashwagandha? It's a popular adaptogenic herb. What adaptogenic means is that it's a natural substance that helps to balance the chemicals of your body. It helps to enhance stamina and it's also a natural stress reliever. Okay, so now for the personal bit, I am going to tell you about um, just a little short backstory on my experience with anxiety and depression. I started noticing that I had an anxiety problem probably when I was 13. Um, it wasn't very bad then, but anytime I had to take on high stress workloads in high school, I would break down, I would have a meltdown. But it wasn't until I started university in 2015, I started studying medicine and my anxiety got really bad. I also became depressed. Um, very little things to very big things caused, caused me to feel very anxious. Within the past day or so, my anxiety became bad enough such that uh, I couldn't function normally. I, I couldn't go to school comfortably. I was missing a lot of school and I just wasn't feeling good at all. When I entered a very anxious state, I would shut down. I would completely close off to the social world. I would take off my phone. I wouldn't respond to anybody. I would just stay holed up in my apartment and not be productive at all. And it was not very good, obviously. I was diagnosed with clinical depression in the beginning of 2018 and I started treatment, pharmaceutical treatment that is for depression and anxiety. So for depression, I was on Prozac and for the anxiety, I started taking APO Alprazolam, which most people know as Xanax. In this video, I'm not gonna be focusing on the depression side of things, although ashwagandha is also useful for helping to alleviate depression. I will talk about that maybe later if you're interested. With respect to anxiety, the Xanax worked extremely well. As soon as I started taking Xanax, I was productive again. I felt no anxiety. I was able to function day to day perfectly. I felt really good about myself, but I became very, very dependent on the Xanax and after dependency comes addiction and that is definitely a red flag for me. Then my friend Antar introduced me to ashwagandha. There are a lot of benefits of ashwagandha and I'll list them. Yeah, I'll list them so you can take a look at them. I'll be leaving a link in my description box so you can go check out all the benefits of ashwagandha but for me the greatest benefit was that it alleviated my anxiety problems. So I took it one evening, I took the ashwagandha one evening and then the very next day, literally the very next day, this is not even a joke, it felt amazing. I felt confident, productive, I felt very motivated, I started doing a lot of the things that I wasn't getting done before. I just felt really good about myself and I felt like I could do anything. And I continued to use it daily and as time went on I realized that the shutting down and the meltdowns I was not experiencing that anymore and to this day I have not had a meltdown while I was taking ashwagandha. I would recommend it to anybody who suffers from debilitating anxiety like I did. So what I do is I boil one cup of water and when that's boiled I put it in my cup and I add one teaspoon of ashwagandha powder and I use the powder form there's a supplement available and I personally believe that the ashwagandha powder has way more benefits simply because it's in its raw form so yeah I prefer to use the, the powder and I would recommend that you also use the powder how much to consume a day you consume half 
to one teaspoon daily and I consume one teaspoon. And if you want a little bit of flavor, you can add a tea bag. You have to be consistent. Add drinking tea to your daily routine if it's not already part of your daily routine. Drinking tea. Um, is an opportunity for you to relax and to unwind. You'll see the powder that I use and I will leave a link to that powder in my description box so go click the link in my description box and secure the bag. Secure your own bag of ashwagandha powder. Honestly I really don't think you'll regret it if you do. If you do at some point try to use ashwagandha make sure you comment or you message me on Instagram and tell me what your experience with ashwagandha is. I would really like to know your feedback. So two more tips. Tip number one would be to stretch. And if you watch my very first video, I stretch when I wake up in, on the morning. And besides helping me to wake up and get me in the right frame of mind for the rest of the day, I meditate while I stretch. So I focus on my breathing and I focus on my movements and try my best to clear my thoughts. Doing that every morning calms me. It helps rid my body of any anxiety before the day even starts. If you don't like doing stretches, you can do yoga, you can do pilates or you can simply meditate. Tip number two is to be introspective. Ask yourself the question, what am I afraid of? Uh, most of the time, any negative feeling or issue that we have comes from a fear. So ask yourself, what am I afraid of? You may actually be surprised to know what the answer is. Once you understand something, it's less likely that it can continue to bother or harm. I learned that technique from a wonderful book. It's a quick read, it's an easy read, and the name of it is The Mastery of Love and it's by Don Miguel Ruiz. I'll leave a link to that book below. It's an easy read and I think it would add value to your life, so go check it out. So as I said before, be sure to tell me how all of these tips work for you. Tell me if you use ashwagandha already, if you plan to use it, and what effect it has on your life. Also, if you have any tips for managing anxiety, be sure to leave them in the comments below so that other people can try them as well. I'm in the process of transitioning from pharmaceutical medicine to natural medicine because I just find that natural medicine works better for me. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so you can be notified whenever I post a video. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video guys. Stay lit, stay true, and be beautiful.